here's what's going down. I want to talk for a few minutes about Scientology. I want to give you an explanation of its origins and exactly what it is. Uh, many people still don't know, so this video is for you. Uh, basically, there was a man by the name of L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubbard was a science fiction writer. Uh, he wrote many space-related uh, stories uh, about space travel, alien invasion, uh, ray guns, zap zap, space of Rue man, all that type of bullshit. That's L. Ron Hubbard. Anyway, he also wrote the story of Scientology. Now, uh, the basic Scientologist belief system is this. 75 million years ago, there was an evil alien ruler of all of the galaxy named Xenu. And Xenu, just one day out of the clear blue sky, decides that the galaxy is a little too populated for his liking. So he is going to thin out the population, wiping out millions and millions of species of various alien planets. Uh, so Xenu gets the bright idea to round up all of his troops, and they're going to get into spaceships, and they're going to go get all these people, and they proceed to do this, and, and, and they suck up all of these alien species into their spaceships, and they proceed to put them in a giant deep freeze. Yes, they froze the bodies of all of the alien species. Then Xenu gets the bright idea that the only thing that they can really do with them is take them to the planet that we now know as Earth, and drop them inside the volcanoes, uh, uh, and let them, you know, burn to death, uh, disintegrating and thus creating, you know, the end of the problem. So Xenu proceeds to do that. However, the so what uh, what happened next? Here's where the story starts to get a little weird. Uh, the souls fly out of the volcanoes, and they start flying around and frolicking about Earth. Uh, fortunately. Xenu was prepared for this. Xenu is a prepared motherfucker. He always knows what's going on, and he was two steps ahead of these stupid little souls. So Xenu, way prior to any of this, had invented uh, soul-sucking catcher machines that would uh, recapture the souls in the event that they were frolicking about. And uh, Xenu proceeded to do that. He sucked all the souls back up into his spaceship, and then he held them all captive for several days while he proceeded to uh, brainwash them and fill them full of confusion and fear and anxiety and depression. And then Xenu uh, released them back onto the planet Earth in their new disoriented state with all of their problems and, 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 and negative emotions. And uh, the souls proceeded to possess the bodies of early man. Uh, which uh, would explain our progression, um, you know, from caveman days to present. And that is also the reason that you and I are filled with depression and fear and anxiety, and these are all things that Xenu did to us, the evil son of a bitch that he is. Uh, okay, let's fucking be real for a minute. This story is utterly fucking ridiculous. There is no fucking way in hell this happened. I want to go on record as stating, by the way, that L. Ron Hubbard, the man who invented Scientology, who wrote the story, uh, is a criminal. He's a convicted felon. He served four years in a penitentiary for fraud. Um, he was taking money from his original followers. I mean, this is admittedly a fake story. Um, there's no fucking way that this ever happened. Yet, I find it incredibly odd that every celebrity in the world has become fucking part of this. Anyone who's anyone is a Scientologist these days, you know? I mean, you got the big names like Tom Cruise and John Travolta, but you also, uh, you know, uh, many people don't know, uh, Giovanni Ribisi, Kirstie Alley, um, uh, Jason Lee, Ethan Supley, uh, both stars of My Name is Earl, uh, Kelly Preston, um, Katie Holmes, uh, the list is just endless of writers, directors, actors, producers, musicians, composers, artists in general, the whole fucking entertainment field is chock full of these cult leading fucks, and I'm gonna tell you something man, stay clear of that shit, because it's no good, it's no good, it's complete and utter bullshit, they get inside your mind and all they really want is your fucking money, once you join a church of Scientology, they have you spend as much money as you can possibly stand on self-help courses, self-improvement courses, cleansing, all kinds of bullshit that is just fucking completely outrageous. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go on record as stating something else. Scientology kills people. 
Scientologists don't believe in psychiatry. They don't believe in medications. They don't believe in our general health system. Uh, a, sci a Scientologist believes that there is nothing that can't be cured with your own mind, uh, exercise, vitamins, and minerals. I mean, many people that have been taken have been taken out of regular hospitals and into the care of Scientologists have died. Don't just take my word for all this bullshit. Look it up for yourself. It's all out there. It's all on the internet. Uh, L. Ron Hubbard was a criminal, and he's a cult leader, and this is a fucking cult that the elite are into, and, uh, and I think they have people everywhere. Uh, there's even accusations that members of Scientology uh, have infiltrated the FBI buildings and the CIA buildings, and they can ruin lives of anyone that they want, uh, or they can make your career. They, they're way high up on the ladder, especially in the entertainment industry. Um, I mean, you know, you give them a lot of money, all of a sudden you're a fucking superstar. It's outrageous. Don't take my word for it. There are websites. There are places. Look all of this shit up for yourselves. Do the fucking research, man. Don't just buy into this shit because I'm saying it. You know, and keep in mind that they do fuck with people, man, and people die because of Scientologists. If I turn up dead in a few days, it's probably because I made this fucking video about Scientology. Fucking keep that in mind, man. Keep that in mind. I'm just saying, watch your friends, watch your family, watch yourselves. Don't let these fuckers get in your heads. Alright, take care. Peace out.